probably get a prompt that says, is it okay to record? Everyone see that? Yep, oh, yep we saw okay. it. Yep. Yay. All right, we are ready to start. Awesome. Yay. Yay. And Susan, um, really fast, should I use any specific bingo card or just like any of the ones you sent me? You can use any of the ones that these guys don't have. Okay, cool. <laughs> <laughs> uh, there we go. Yeah, I guess oh, did you guys see what I just did? I just, just uh, closed out my slide set after I opened it up. <laughs> <laughs> It's Saturday. It's like my brain is turning off for the work week. Yeah. <laughs> right. It always happens. I know. <laughs> I know. All right. So I'm going to do that just because I don't want to see my face while I'm talking. And um, can you guys, is the screen really clear and can you hear my voice really yeah. nicely? Okay. Very <laughs> good. Very good. Okay. Now, um, before we start, um, um, our game and, and this presentation, I wanted to let you know that by email, so watch, watch my email after this session, okay? Because I'm going to be sending each of you instructions as to how to make a homemade uh, balance scale to accurately compare weights of different objects. And so, like, for, yeah, yeah. For example, you could figure out how many cherries weigh the same as a peach or how many dimes weigh uh, as much as a quarter. And we're, we're in the instructions, there will also be options so that you can fine tune your balance for greater precision. And then for there's going to be some additional challenges too, like how how to show methods for absolute measurements rather than just what what are called relative measurements. But that's all going to be in that instruction sheet that I'm going to send you by email and and if you get inspired and you it, you may you really like this and and um send take a picture of it and send me by email the picture of what you did I would be interested or if you have questions right. on, on doing it okay and then um and then one more thing I wanted to say before we start is in that same email I'm going to send you this whole list of STEM careers and their descriptions so that you can explore more and more on your own too, okay? All right. All right. So we're going to start this off um, talking about a spark. <laughs> so when you hear someone say spark, and here, I'm going to go back to this slide so you can't just read it. What do you think about <laughs> when someone says that word spark to you? What do you think about? Um, firecrackers. Oh, yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Those, like, those like sparkler things that are just like. <laughs> yep. And how do you think that might be an analogy for, or how do you think that might, why am I talking about that in relation to careers, do you think? Do you I'm think not going to say it because I read the slide. I know you did. <laughs> I did not read the slide. What do you think? Oh, How does it relate? I have absolutely no idea. Say anything. Come on, what do you think? I don't know. <laughs> okay. <laughs> hey, Max, even though you read the slide, why don't you tell us? Well, what I was going to say has already been answered in chat, so. <laughs> <laughs> what gets you excited? Thank you, Lauren. <laughs> All right. So. When you are looking for careers, you want to do something you love, right? That's important because then you're going to be willing to do the hard stuff to get to that career. You get energy from being involved in things associated with that career, and it keeps you excited for the long haul, right? So, um, you know, it's good to consider, you know, salary and and lots of things like, you know, what you would be doing on a day-to-day -day basis and what types of people you'll be interacting with or will you be outside or inside or, you know, all of those things are important when it comes to, you know, a career. Um, so, um, you know, even things that you love to do might give you some ideas about a career, right? Like things that you just really, really enjoy. Um, so I'm gonna just show you a quick little video and, um, and then we'll start our game, okay? All right.
Well, in the future, I would like to see flying cars. The wheels, like, go out like this and you just fly. We could create something that a lot of people need that would bring us all together. I would like to invent um, a kind of medicine that would stop the disease. I do know in developing countries, water is really, really hard to get. Okay, I think a good invention for the future would be a giant atmospheric filter that kind of covered the globe. And you could add in random boosters to skateboards and bikes that would make you go faster. Phones that have holograms, because that sounds pretty cool. Engineering is, uh, I don't really know, but I think just making things for the better. You find things made by engineers everywhere. If you look around, everything you see, your car, your toaster, your shoes, your house. The building you go to school in, there was a civil engineer involved in that. The computers that we play on, there was a mechanical engineer, an electrical engineer. Paint, you name it, anything. Toilet paper, shampoo, food products. Engineering is all around you. Engineers are everywhere. Everywhere. I think it would take somebody with a really powerful growth mindset to accomplish things like this. Because, you know, you can't just think about it. You have to actually think, think about it, you know, because those things are really hard to think about. You have to be really smart. You also have to be really creative. You would need to have problem-solving skills. It's just a matter of having a little curiosity and the drive to do something to help the world. I think sometimes we can be stereotyped as you have to be nerdy or you have to be a boy or you have to look a certain way and I don't think that's true. I think anyone can be an engineer. A good engineer is able to come up with creative solutions to problems. They communicate with a lot of people of different fields and just working in teams. You have to have the thirst for knowledge. You have to always want to learn. Anything science related, so biology, chemistry, calculus, physics. You absolutely do not have to be a math whiz to study engineering. I think you have to be able to understand basic concepts of it, but I don't think you have to be some genius to be an engineer. Engineers will always be in demand. That's one of the reasons why I chose engineering, because you will always need engineers to help you solve the next generation's problems. Engineering gives you so many opportunities. There's so many different disciplines you can get into. I can't think of another profession that has the flexibility that engineers have and the type of work that they can do on a day-to-day -day basis and on a career-long basis, different areas that you can get involved with. It's incredible to think about what we can do as engineers to impact the world. I became an engineer because I want to help people and I want to improve people's lives. You can build anything, you can make anything, um, you can solve real-world problems. Our society can't advance without that innovation in the technology fields. I knew I wanted to be a positive contributor to society. I love the challenge. There's always something to improve upon. Nothing's perfect. You're helping people, you're changing lives, you're, in some ways, you're saving lives, right?
more robots everywhere, like helping in hospitals and helping people like on the street. One day in the future, I would like to build lenses because some people are blind and they can't really see anything. So they're missing out on a lot of beautiful things to see on this earth. I'd invent a machine that could take you to Jupiter <laughs> and let you explore other parts of the galaxy. It would just be really cool to be able to teleport places. <laughs> And that's what engineering is. <laughs> yes, I can picture myself being an engineer. Okay. So um, I thought this was a good video to bring up because um, it kind of highlights what I want you to think about with lots of different careers. And that is, is that, you know, you could pick an area that you're really, really interested. And then it's really cool how in the world, you know, like a lot of dis different disciplines and there are a lot of different ways to do these different careers, okay? So, okay, we're going to play our bingo game now, yes. okay? Yeah. Sound good? So do you have your card in front of you, either you on your card. computer or printed out? You got it, right? It's right there. Yeah, we got it. We got it. All right. right so here's what we're going to do. Um, I'm going to put, and actually, you know what? Um, I am going to... Okay, we're not going to do this first one because you already saw it. <laughs> I want you to have to uh, uh, think about it. So don't put this one down on your card, okay? All right. Now, does everyone know how to play bingo? Yes. Okay. Uh, can you explain it anyways, just in sure. case anybody watching this later doesn't know? <laughs> sure. All right. So normally, bingo, you have the words B-I-N-G-O, um, and they have like numbers and letters so you're like doing the grid and people just call out right they'll say um one four or i four or you know they'll do something like that but we are actually you have a card that has careers on it right yep so, so i'm going to go through this slide set and um if you are able to fill out like mark um careers like in a row going either horizontally or vertically or a, a full diagonal uh then you can call out bingo okay all right um so uh, it's just a, a fun way to do this but regardless we might get a couple bingos but out of you guys maybe but regardless i'm gonna do the whole slide set anyway so that we can talk about these careers okay and you can kind of guess at these careers as we're going through does that does that make sense you guys it does make sense mm -hmm. Oh, great, great. I wasn't sure if I was uh, being clear. <laughs> All right, so this one do not mark, okay? Because uh, it, the answer is already up there. So a civil engineer designs bridges and buildings and um, you know, it's real important that their structures be safe, right? Against earthquakes and floods and um, so, and I always have for each of these slides, what I call a spark connection. You know, if you're someone who likes solving problems and maybe too, you like uh, this idea of architecture and art and you like to help other people. Um, and maybe too, you might be interested in helping the environment. This might be a cool career. Okay, you guys think so? Yeah. Are you guys ready for the next one? Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right, all right, we're gonna now officially start playing. Lauren, you ready? Everybody ready? Are you ready? Paola, are you ready? Yes, I'm ready. Okay. Thumbs up. All right, here we go. All right, these people help prevent, diagnose, and treat health problems in a wide variety of animals. And if you like animals and medicine, this might be the career for you. What, what career am I talking about? That yeah, vet. Yeah, veterinarian. Good. Yay! Woohoo! All right, next one. Awesome. 
We don't have anything to mark it with, so I'm just gonna go like. <laughs> oh, you didn't have it on your card. That's fine. No, we, we have, have it on it. our card. We have it. We just don't have. We just don't have anything to mark it with. Oh, we have it digitally. Oh, okay. Can Let me you see if there's a way to edit it real quick? Have you found a way to oh. do that? Nope. So I'm just gonna remember what we, we what we what we have. Yeah, you know, one thing you could do too is write them down, if that helps. Yeah. All right. All right. These these people think big. Okay. They want to understand the universe from the sun to the galaxy, the galaxies. Oh, and one, second. one second. Hold on, I got to mute. All right. So if you love learning about space and science and the stars, what what is this career, do you think? What do you think this career is? Paola, what are you thinking? Astronomer. Yay! Astronomer. Okay, <laughs> mark your cards if you have astronomer. All right. Hey, Max, are you guys ready for the next one? I think yeah, they're... Um, okay. Sorry. Um... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're ready for the next one. Okay. Excellent, excellent. Okay, here we go. These people study living things, um, and uh, particularly, you know, how yeah. living things inherit. I like to drop the Amazon dropout. One sec. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> inherit traits or or features from their parents through genes, right? And oh, Lauren's right. It's a geneticist. Okay, so. This is really, really a cool um, occupation. And matter of fact, there is a subset called a genetic counselor that they, it's actually a master's program at U of M and you help people and work with people, you know, if their children have genetic disorders. So there are a lot of things under this category that, that you could do. All right, mark your cards if you have it on there. All right. Was astronomer, we have that. Really? Okay, oh, you guys ready for the next one? Yeah. Yep. Okay. Oh, oh I did it too soon. Oh, no. <laughs> no. Oh, no. All right. Aerospace engineers. So they make things fly airplanes, rockets, drones, satellites. If you like to build, um, this might be something really cool and interesting. All right, mark your cards. Mark you need your to do five. Okay, you guys ready? Yes. Yep. All right. Paola, you're getting anywhere? Yes, I have three so far. Woo! Oh, she's on her way. <laughs> you also have three if you don't count the free. Ah. Wow. Now the free you can count as, as part of bingo. So we have four. Oh wow. Cool. All right. Um <laughs> this career. It, uh, is when you study chemistry of living things and you do experiments. So you're working to solve biological problems um, and really, really across a huge uh, spectrum, right? Farming, environment, medicine. Um, what do you think this is? I'm not quite sure. Lauren um, or Paola, what do you think? I, I hear think Lauren it, saying biochemist. I think it might be a biochemist. But I'm not entirely sure. Woohoo! Okay. Lauren! Yay! Yeah. Woo. One, two, three. Okay, you guys ready? Yes. Yep. All right. Um, they use engineering to solve problems in medicine. They design medical devices like prosthetics or 3D printed organs. Okay, so this is kind of a subset of engineering, isn't it? I had no clue that 3D printed organs were a thing. Oh my god. Did those work? We're, we're getting really close. Yeah. Well, they're um they're using like they they will use cells and almost do like a layered cake effect um in building an organ. Now the only problem with that is we don't know how to hook up these organs with the nervous system very efficiently. Uh, but we're getting a ways here. Yeah. That's really cool. Yeah. That's really cool. So what do you think this is, you guys? Mm. Not this one. 
So I take a guess. I'm go not. ahead. Go ahead, Max. Um, I'm just going to take a guess microbiologist because that's what we have. That's a pretty good guess. Robotic. Oh, wait, is it biomedical engineer? Oh, that's a good one. Let's see what we have. Biomedical engineer. And you were very hey, close. Oh, second hey. guess is right. Yeah, Laura and I would have uh, uh, maybe gone that way too, especially seeing like prosthetics and so on, right? Yep. All right. All right. Uh, this career, they investigate disease outbreaks to figure out when, where, and why an infection started. What do you think? Is this one microbiologist? That's close. I, I, I tend to think this is similar, but slightly different. Well, I don't see it on our bingo card, so I don't know. Could it be that? Because I don't know no, how to pronounce that. I don't that. think that's... Yeah, I think that's oh, and, and that. perhaps you might be right. You might be right. I, I'm trying to remember on this slide if I had one thing or the other. Well, look look in chat. I think she, I think they're right. Yeah, yeah that's, that's what what I'm I'm Yep. Yep. That's what I was thinking it was too. Oh, so man, epidemiologist. No, no, no. Epidemiology funny. is the study of disease in populations. Are you guys ready? Yep. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, they test the physical and chemical properties of food. They may develop a new delicious candy or check for the contamination in meats, for example. Food science technician? technician? Ooh, ooh, ooh. Food scientist. Very good. Yeah. So is that food science technician or no? Um, well, here's the thing. You could be a food scientist or you could specialize and be a food scientist technologist, right? So, like should I, of, so this is um, food scientist, but should yeah. I cross out food science technician? Uh, you know what? I'm going to say go for it. Go ahead and cross okay. it. In. All right. It doesn't really help us in any way, <laughs> but just making sure in case it helps us down the road. <laughs> <laughs> All right. You guys are doing really great. Yeah. OK, so now we're talking about an engineering uh, occupation that mixes art, designing projects that are made on a large scale, like sports equipment Thank and you. medical devices. Thank so what, what do you think? Mm. I don't think we have that one. I have no idea. All right, commercial designer. Huh. Oh. oh, hey, we do have that one. Oh, I would. It's way down there. Oh. <laughs> Anyone get a bingo yet? No. No, no, no bingos yet. Okay. Not quite. We're getting right. pretty close, about two away. <laughs> Excellent. Two away in two areas. Yeah. yeah. I imagine someone, how about you, Paul? Are you getting close? Yeah. But I, I, I still have like three, two, two more. Two more. One of them. All right. Two, three. All right. One, two, um, three. This occupation. Oh, you're right. right. We're two away in three areas, oh, yeah. actually. And develop methods yes. to remove it from the earth without damaging the surrounding environment. Lauren says she has two more also. Now we're one away. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Really? All right. Should I just show which one this one is? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Petroleum engineer. Petroleum engineer. A very yeah, close. Energy away. engineer, Lauren. See that Great. One. One Great. Away. Wow. All right. Are we ready for the next one? Yeah. All right. Um, this is, you know the answer to this one because you said it earlier. They study microorganisms as such as bacteria, viruses. They develop methods what to basically preserve food longer or identify the cause of disease. Microbiologist is correct, Lauren. Yay. Now we're one away in two areas. No, oh, we are. no. <laughs> It's a lot like tic-tac-toe, isn't it? In yes, a way. we are. I yes, back. we are. See? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, they safeguard a company's computer systems and network, shielding them from data breaches and cyber attacks. What do we think? Is it microsystems engineer? 
Yeah, I, that's what I would think. Well, no, isn't it nano system? But it might be no, more no, specialized, no. right? It might be more specialized. What? Should, uh, I, should I put it up there? Oh yeah. Yeah. Cyber security analysis. So yeah, very, very special. Was that not microsystems engineer on the bingo card? Um, well, you know what? The microsystems engineer might be involved more in um, helping companies and businesses and so on set up their systems. Whereas this is similar because they're looking at the systems, but they're also very, very concentrated on the security aspect. So it's, it's more specialized, I would say. All right, so I shouldn't cross it. Yes, I think that is. Yeah, you're going to see cybersecurity as something to cross. We're still one away. So I shouldn't cross out microsystems engineer. Yes, or uh, don't don't, don't cross it, cross it out. <laughs> right. <laughs> All right. Uh, these are scientists that study ocean organisms, their behaviors, and the inner and their interactions with the environment. Yay! Yes. Um, I actually uh, have a student who is down in Florida studying to be a marine biologist. I think a marine biologist would be a kind of fun thing. Yeah. I like the ocean. They're cool. Yeah. The only thing is, I'm just kind of scared about, you know, dangers of. <laughs> I mean, yeah. Not necessarily even that. Just. Yeah, I'm a little scared of of being in the ocean. Some people just love it. And I think it's beautiful, but I think I'd be a little freaked out being in deep water like that. Conquer yeah, me your too. Fears. <laughs> it seems uh, like fun, conquer your fears. <laughs> <laughs> yes, you'd have to, <laughs> yeah, you'd have to conquer your fears if you were a marine biologist. <laughs> yeah. All right. They help injured and disabled people improve and, and help them to gain more independence. Um, what, do you, what do you think this career is? Um, I really hope it's sound engineer because I need that one. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we have someone coming in late. Okay. Um, uh, Paola, can you give uh, Sheila a, a little bit of assistance? Is it a sure. <laughs> Should I just admit her and then? Um, yeah, Paola, did you, you heard me, right? Yes. Okay. Okay. Yeah, we just had Sheila join. Hello. Hello. Hi, Sheila. Um, is it a physical therapist? That's pretty close. This one, hold on, is an occupational therapist. Uh, occupational therapist. No. No, no bingos yet, huh? We're close. We're one away. In I two really areas. hope the next one's sound engineer. <laughs> Nano systems engineer is. We don't All need that. Right. We don't have so this career, these people study and keep track of financial information. And uh, they tell businesses if they are making money or they help people to manage their money. So what do you think this this is? Should I just put it up there? Yeah. Oh, I hear a statistician. Very good. Let's see what that hey, is. We have that. Accountant. Accountant. Uh, so is that statistician or not? Because those are really close. They're not the same though. Um, and so an accountant is more, much more focused on. Um, oh, know, is, is oh, we have accountant as well. well. They're both there. All right. Yeah. <laughs> All right. You guys ready? For the next yeah. One? Mm -hmm. Okay, um, these people combine engineering and sports to improve sports equipment and enhance athletic performance. Woohoo, Lauren is on fire. Mm. <laughs> sports engineer. I don't think we have that oh, one. Sports engineer. Okay. All right, no bingos yet, huh? Yes. Okay. Uh, they improve quality and productivity. They redesign better airport security and come up with the most efficient way to build a car. So this is probably another specialization here, right? What do you think? Is it microsystems engineer? Let's see what we get. Industrial engineer. Yes. Oh. Industrial engineer. 
It's fine, Meg. <laughs> we were close, but it we wasn't like systems. All right. Uh, solve complex mathematical problems, including in these fields, economics, climate study, medicine, national security, robotics. We, you just mentioned this one, Max. Statistician? Woo! Or mathematician. Probably um, mathematician. Yeah. So is that statistician? So I would keep it to mathematician because this, see how broad this is, this, this description is. So uh, yeah. I, I, I think I, I was, I think you were really close because I might've chosen that if I was doing that as well. Okay, you guys ready? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Build websites, write programs that work on the internet, Facebook, Google. This is a programmer. That sounds good. Web web developer programmer. Oh, web developer. We don't have that one. Oh, it's okay. Shoot. We're still waiting. All right. They are experts in human, mental, emotional, and social behaviors. They may work with patients or conduct research. Psychologists. Good. And bingo. Woohoo! No. Oh no, we were one away oh, in two areas. Did you get, Did you get bingo? You okay, here you go. Oh, darn. That's okay. Oh, wait a minute. <laughs> okay, hold on. It's Game of Pierce. Oh no. Okay, you guys, I I gotta do one thing. One away in I, I had hold on. Okay, you guys, you have to wait one second because, um, you know, if we were doing this in person, do you know that I would uh, have a prize for you? But we're not doing this in person and I can't give you virtual chocolate. But I have my iPad here and um, I was going to do applause and do funny sounds. But, <laughs> but the power just went out on my iPad. So, okay, Paola, you and I are going to have to go. Woohoo! Yeah! Got a bingo! Good job! Yay! I shut that guy for you. No. <laughs> you want your bed? Yay! All right. Yay! Should, woo, wanna, should we keep going? If I had a yeah, jacket, I'd throw it. If I had a jacket, I'd throw it in the air. Boy. There you go. There you like go. It. Okay. <laughs> Write and test code to create software for computers and phones, including apps and video games. Also develop code for computer animations. I this is a programmer, right? Computer scientists. Essentially, though, they are doing programming, right? Yeah. All right. They operate equipment to record or mix music, voices, or sound effects in recording studios. Sound engineer. Sound engineer. There you go. Bingo! Bingo! Yes! Bingo! Yay! All right, so we got two bingos so far. Okay, Yay! I'm, I'm, I'm oh, virtual God. chocolate. Thank you for the virtual chocolate. Virtual chocolate. <laughs> oh, I just realized there's a bunch of messages in chat. It's just, oh, it's all, it's just That's all. right. Lauren, Lauren's been working with chat. Um, we, got we got a bingo. Yay! They research, design, and test tools, engines, machines, and other mechanical devices. Or, if, excuse me, devices. Um, so, what do you think? What do you think? Not sure. They research, design, test tools. I think mechanical engineer. Mechanical engineer. Anyone but have not microsystems engineer? Yeah, you guys didn't uh, get another bingo with this, did you? Um, I was I was hoping <laughs> that it was microsystems engineer so we could get a double bingo. <laughs> All right. I just realized. Wait, double bingos could be a thing. Say, uh, we've got like two lined up, but where they intersect, there's not one, and then we get that. Is that a double bingo? I would say so. I don't know all the, the intricate rules of bingo, but I, I'd say that we call it a double bingo. Yeah, that would be cool nice. if somebody got yeah. that, but I don't think that's possible anymore because we're already <laughs> too far in and nobody's gotten one. 
<laughs> that would be possible. All right. What about this one? Getting a double bingo. That would be awesome. They study the atmosphere and how these factors affect the rest of our environment. They may forecast the weather or predict climate change. Who are they? Um, weather science. Oh, look at Lauren. Look at Lauren's response. Meteorologists. Yay. All right. They study and develop materials that engineers need for their designs. They might create new fabrics for clothing or a more comfortable mattress foam. foam. And yeah, it looks like uh, Lauren might be close to what this is, right? Let's see. Material scientists, I would say that's the same thing, right? <laughs> or close enough. Materials engineer, materials, material scientist. All right, guys, ready? They take a complex technical subject, anything from biology to engineering and translate to language that is easy for non-scientists to understand. What do you think that is? And it looks is it like- Statistician? Oh, science, is it a science writer? Um, well, take a look at that, that picture at the bottom on the right-hand side there. What are There's doing? a lot of writing. Mm -hmm. There's a lot There's of green stuff. Happening. Why is there so much green stuff? All right. A well, I don't know. Maybe because they have science green sticky writer. notes. Yeah. And, you know, sometimes, too, you might hear, um, you know, uh, a, what do they say? A, a te technical writer. You might see that term, too. Technical writer or science writer. Okay, they work to eliminate the sources of pollution that damage the environment or human health. What do you think that is? Environmental scientist. That's an interesting position. Yay! Environmental yeah. scientist. Good job. No, <laughs> no more bingos? No bingos yet? I guess not. No, no bingos yet. Also, can you show me like... Um, why we're waiting for that one or something? They apply chemistry to solve problems in areas like food, chemicals, and drugs. What do you think? Hmm. <laughs> why is that bottom man so red? And uh, why is the image so compressed? He actually is kind of red, isn't he? Uh, that's funny. Oh, a sunburn on his face. All right. <laughs> really oh, Paola and Lauren had this one right. Chemical engineer. Chemical engineer. Oh, we have that one. Yeah. No, we do no, not no. have that one. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So now this is kind of a slightly different angle here. They work to help protect an inventor's original work and they stop others from stealing that original work. So all talking research. And, and take a look at the guys in that photo. What do they look like to you? Patent lawyers. <laughs> Very good. We have that one. Now, we, now we're one what? way again. A patent one way what? Two what? again. All right. They design and yeah. test electrical Maybe equipment. Because like, it's right there, and I know what that is. I don't. <laughs> What is this one? I know what a patent is. Design and test electrical you know what equipment. What do you think? Mm, electrical engineer. Oh, yeah. Microwave. There you go. Micro uh, oh, come well, on. You know, Paola so has a little bit. <laughs> Paola has a little bit of an unfair advantage oh, because she she actually has a sister who's an engineer. Did you know yeah. that? Oh, cool. Where's that? Where's that? <laughs> He's an industrial engineer. That's right. <laughs> so she hears about engineering a lot. Yeah. <laughs> and then her dad also uh, works with math. And so like he's, he's in contact with a lot of people in engineering too. So, all right. So they ease physical and mental suffering due to injury and disease. They check symptoms to prescribe the correct medicine for ailments such as the flu or headaches. We got a bingo. Lauren has a bingo. Nice. Yay. Yay. We, gotta, we gotta make a lot of noise. Yay. 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 A bingo. I'm very loud. 
Excellent. Excellent. So this is the physician. You can get away with anything with bingo. They studied the behaviors. Oh, look at I love I love Laura. They study the behaviors and habitats of wild animals. I cannot handle the cuteness of the red panda doing a blip. It's so cute. Do they know Isn't what it is? Cute. Oh I agree. God, it's adorable. I agree. I love cute animal pictures. <laughs> red pandas dog. are like one of my favorite animals. They're so they cute. cute. They they don't even look like they look like a like a, a teddy bear. They're so cute. Right? <laughs> I'm like literally right? gonna cry. It's so cute. <laughs> So all right so lauren is saying biologists and that would be correct but i tend to think it might even be more uh, a subset of a biologist right so what do you think it is guys zoologist oh it's a zoologist yep oh yeah i've heard of them before don't think we have that one all right they study the climate and surface features of regions to solve problems in land use business and agriculture this one might be maybe a little hard or maybe not we'll have to see geographer yeah, yeah. So we have geographer any other guesses bingo Could it be micro system <laughs> All right. Yay, Lauren. Good job. Yeah. Bingo. Do we have another bingo? Is that Paola? Yeah, part two. Another bingo. Yeah. Oh, no. <laughs> nice. Yay. Yay. I am going to play loudly again. Oh, gosh. No. How many do we have so far? Have we had oh, ears for you? Oh. <laughs> I'm getting a bingo. My hands hurt now. Good job I know. I know. <laughs> We're no, clapping. My ears so much. hurt. Please don't get any more bingos. My hands <laughs> My ears can't handle it. <laughs> All right. You guys can figure this one out. Help people who have trouble with speaking. I don't know this one. Oh, I speak language pathologist. I just had it on my bingo card. All right. Very good. Oh you God. just got another bingo? No, I found it on the Wait. card. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yes, sorry. We have sad decision. All right. Speech language One, language pathologist. That's right. Right. I think we we did. I don't know. If, do we have aerospace engineering? Has that been gone over yet? I think uh, uh, yes. Yeah. I think we yeah, did. I think, I think we got a bingo. We got a bingo. We got a bingo. Yeah. Yeah. We got a bingo. Please bingo. do not make my ears hurt again. I um, will. Yeah. That's on. B i n g o. B I N G O. <laughs> All right. These guys <laughs> use the power of the atom to solve problems um, such as uh, machines that kill cancer or designing power plants. So we're talking about using the power of the atom. So what do you think this could be? Is it nanosystems engineer? That's that's close. And Lauren is saying nuclear engineer. And Lauren was exactly oh, yeah. right. Oh, yeah. Very good. Yeah. We were so close to getting a double bingo. <laughs> um, by the way, I'm just wondering, um, do we have meteorologists yet? No. Uh, yes, we, we did have that. We do? See? I told you. Yeah. I told you earlier. Oh, yeah, you we're, better we're listen away from to her. Because we have this, this, this. this All right, this, guess this, what? This also there. Guess it's what, everybody? We got, we got through all the slides. We did it. Yay. We got some bingos in that. Awesome. Where was microsystems engineer? No. Not everything's everywhere, Max. <laughs> Not everything. So, so we didn't cover uh, like uh, the whole list of careers I'm going to send you. They're more than what we did. Um, mm -hmm. We could have been here all all afternoon. <laughs> yeah. Doing them. There's so many jobs. Oh, there are so, so many fun. jobs, and that's so just many. it. You know, when you're thinking about mm -hmm. careers, like you really want to explore, right? Like really explore and and see what what really gets your heart beating and like exciting, right? So um, I'm going to send you guys an email, okay, with instructions as to how to make that balance. I'm going to also send you the big list of career list for STEM so that you can do some exploring. 
Um, and if you get inspired and after you build your balance, send me some photos by email. And you know, my husband said too, cause he ha is helping me with the balance thing. Um, he said, if you have specific um, um, questions that he's gonna tell me and I'll, I'll let you know in email how to do stuff if, if there's any questions at all. And um, we're gonna have Super Steam Saturdays um, once a month for the whole year. So this is the only one I'm doing, but we have other faculty at our school. We're gonna be doing some really fun things. Now, hopefully we won't be doing all of these virtually and we'll do them in person in the future, maybe even as early as winter, because we'll get into the chemistry lab and we'll do forensic DNA and some really cool things. Um, yeah. So I'm hoping that we'll get back in person soon. And um, uh, so we, it looks like everybody had a bingo. Sheila, did you get a bingo at all during this, this session? Well, they joined late, so I don't but know. You, I she one. joined late, so she may have yeah. not. Most of us got a bingo. Got a bingo. But mo I think everyone else did, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, good that's job, good. That's good. I wish I could give you a prize for winning bingo. But I can't. I can only send you more virtual chocolate. There you go. <laughs> Woo! Yeah, yeah, you get to receive. Yay. I'm chocolate gonna go have some actual chocolate. Look at all I'm also gonna go have some chocolate. Let's see. All right. Well, you guys, thanks for joining me. Yeah, this was fun, and it was so nice. Fun. Thank you. So for nice to meet you. Letting us join. Yeah. Yes, so nice you. to meet you guys. Take care. Bye. 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 Have a great rest of your day. Bye, everyone. You too. Bye. Bye. We're going to go now.